All right, what week is this? Wait, this, this is gonna be week six. I don't know. Monday morning here, we're still at Pete's house. I haven't really given the van a wash since we left home. I don't even think we washed it when we were at home. We made it to Maryland. I'm gonna start off by saying the drive up here, it sucked. <laughs> Uh, when we left Pete's house, it was actually nice. We got one one last good night of rest over there at Pete's house. Had a really good dinner, and then uh, we decided to make the trek up here on Monday. Well, good thing uh, I had a fan this weekend. Give me a couple bucks because we spent every dime of it on the way up here. We spent like 115 bucks in tolls just to get here. So happy right now. Favorite practice track on the circuit right here. We're at a uh, Rashad's. And this this place I've been here for like this is my third year now, and um, actually I'm, I'm kind of bummed. I've been hearing like there's not going to be another Southwick round, which means we won't be able to really come back here again. But I think out of all the places to ride in this country, like this is my home. This is the this is the funnest place I've ever been, and it's uh, it's not the crazy, all scary, you know, rough, and it it's like like you can still go fast, and it's still such good training. The dirt's so good, and like there's no there's no better place to me than this place and uh, I hope we get to come back. I'm gonna miss it if we can. We definitely, we definitely got it privateer. I mean, when you're traveling by yourself and doing everything on your own dime and, and just doing everything on your own, you're definitely a privateer. But uh, you know, some guys have it way better than others. There's guys that are traveling these huge rigs with trailers and they have all these bikes and mechanics, and they're still considered privateer because they're traveling by themselves. And then you got the guys that are, you know, doing way more privateer. I remember um, a couple weeks ago, I lined up next to a guy and. He didn't even have a mechanic. His bike was all dirty for the second moto, and he's traveling in a van doing it by himself. So I, I mean, for me, I mean, with what we've got, I mean, we like to feel spoiled. But uh, you know, I, what keeps me uh, happy about what we're doing and, and make it feel like we're still doing it very privateer is I've I've worked for everything, and we've uh, gone out and got our own sponsors and done everything on our own and made some happen of it. So uh, I'm a firm believer in hard work does pay off. Doing a little filter cleaning. I was down to my last two clean ones, but I saw the, the way my filters look from the couple days of riding I did, and we're probably gonna be changing one quite often this weekend, so better be prepared. A little uh, pre race breakfast right now. Shyla made for me. I'm getting nervous, it's shaking. Oh, it's not that bad anymore. I gotta whoop these suckers down. Can't even eat, I'm nervous. If I wasn't nervous, that means I didn't care. That's the great James Stewart quote right there. Okay. 
Alright, we're gearing up for first practice. Hopefully we can go in, get some good times, and uh, get to the second practice nice and good. So uh, hopefully after the second practice, I'll come back with some good news. Pump. All right, we just got done with both practices. Uh, I guess I'll start off with the good news. Uh, we're in this week, like 31st, so we're still pretty cutting it pretty close, but but we got in. The first practice went pretty well. I uh, I got behind some fast guys and just kind of followed them around and ended up like 27th, um, which is pretty good. And then uh, the second practice, I I stalled it a couple times, but I got I figured feel like I figured out the track a little bit and. And uh, I was 24th in the second one, but, but the, this track is definitely notorious for pulling a fast slap the, the, the first practice. And uh, so we got it done this week, thank God. And uh, now we just go do two solid motos, see if we can get some points this weekend. Oh, so would you lend me a hand to the promised land where I met it, glory bound? Finally had a good first one. I uh, came out of the gate good. I knew just heading down the line, I was like, this track's fast at first. There's gonna be guys behind you, just don't get pumped up. And man, there's guys all around me, and I, I hung on. Came out 14th. So tough. Look, I think I'm getting heat flashes, getting chills. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go. okay start and then I uh, just kept charging and I got up to like 20th or something like that and then uh, I went to the inside of a guy and and um, I thought I had the pass made but I think he might have made a little bit mistake and burned out and uh, kind of hit me and we both went down so uh, kind of bummed out I was riding hard for that one I wanted some points bad but um, not much you can do there but uh, keep your head up and go for the next weekend right all right, second moto was pretty hectic, like I said. Um, had a little bit of issues with the bike, and then uh, thanks to my girlfriend, my pops, and Jake, they uh, they really put everything, uh, put their heads down and, and got the bike together. And me and Jake ran down to the start, and uh, we ended up getting a bad gate pick because uh, your bike has to be down there, um, not just the rider. And uh, So we were lined up way outside, but um, everything was going good in that moto. Um, the only way the bike would have stayed together though was because uh, Factory Kawasaki, uh, Mike Williamson, Ryan Villapoto's mechanic, he uh, he gave me a couple parts that we needed, so big shout out to those guys, thank you. And like I said, I wouldn't be able to do it without my, my dad, my girlfriend, and uh, newcomer Jake, and then big thanks to the fans, you know, all the views. We definitely wouldn't be able to do this without all of you guys, and obviously every sponsor that's on the motorhome right behind me, thank you to everyone. And let's go to Red Bud.